Hello and welcome back to another episode of Bringing Back the Glory on Football Manager 2020 with Aberdeen. Yes, we've done some transfer business, but first I'd definitely like to apologise for that thumbnail. Great chance, Cooper must make it four. He does. Oh. I think I would have to say now that this is the greatest team that Aberdeen have ever had. Aberdeen have definitely won the championship. Aberdeen with McGee making the break. And Hewitt waiting in the middle! Hewitt! There's been a lot, so I'm just going to hope to fly through them. The first of the outs was Lukeman Ikena. One million to Stoke, thank you very much. Hakon Evian is now playing for Tan Jin in China. They paid 20 million quid for him. That is great business, especially when you see who we've brought in. I must admit, this one hurt a little bit. Nicholas Pirini, he's been around for ages. We got 3.6 million for him. He's gone back to Italy with Chievo. He's been around a long time. He was a good contributor. We won a lot of trophies with him, but it was time to go. Paul Orano, also gone. Al Jazeera of the UAE. Uh, got 3.3 million for him. He was a bit part player. Good cover when we needed him, but, you know, good bit of money for a sort of backup player. He's also earning triple what he was on with us, so lucky him. Nathan Cooney has joined QPR of the Skybet Championship. He was a decent enough backup, but we needed to get the money in. You'll see why. And we got 2.2 million for him. That's very good profit, nearly 2 million. He was okay. Did probably did better out on loan, though. And Michael Ruth has been sold to Leeds United of the Premier League. He's in their under-23s, though, immediately. We got two and a half million for him. He's played once already for them. Wow, must have came off the bench, I think. Yep. Uh, looks pretty good, but, you know, we've got other strikers ahead of him. Mainly Armando, who costs a lot of money, so I'm not going to play anyone else ahead of him because I need to justify it, okay? Not done a good job of it so far. Let's go to the ends now. The first of four was this man. 58 caps for America. Matt Miazga, 29 years old. Very well-rounded defender. Good physically, good mentally, good technically. Ideal, really. He came in. It says 7.5 million. I've been sneaky with these. I've paid a sum of that. I think I paid about 5 million of that up front. 2.5 over longer term sort of installments, which we're not going to pay because we're stopping this after this season before Football Manager 2021. Smart. He's come in, he scored a couple goals in the cup. Ideal. Well done, Matt. Good defensively too. He's a defender. I'd hope he was good defensively. You're so stupid. You're stupid. Dumb. Jonathan's been bought permanently for 500k. We're in the Europa League slash Euro Cup. Um, I wasn't sure what the rules are with that in f terms of playing against their own team. So I just signed him. Why not? He's a good boy. Lovely. Welcome, Jonathan. You are here before. Don't know why I'm welcoming you again. Uh, don't know what I'd said either. Well, what's the story, Ross McCrory? Yeah, that's why I kept saying Ross McCrory's Rangers in the last one, hinting, and at the end I put him in the Aberdeen top. It was a little hint, you know. Um, I knew I was signing him already. We bought him for, it says 12 million. I think it's about... 5 million up front and the rest is installments and like a 50% sell-on clause. We're not going to sell him, idiots. Ah, class. Centre midfielder, very versatile, very good, especially mentally, but technically and physically too. We're buzzing. We all know what he's capable of, let's be honest. And featuring on the What's the Story Ross McCrory track is Bardi Key. Ennis Bardi is in. 10 million quid, apparently. I think it was about four or five up front. The rest installments. Played like a fiddle. Thank you very much, PSG. He's insane. 16 technique, 17 uh, long shots, 19 free kick taking, good dribbling, passing. He's ideal. He's proven in this league. Obviously, played for Celtic, did very well. 19 goals, 12 assists. That's what got him to move to PSG. Welcome, Ennis Bardi. We're going to play him mainly on the outside uh, as sort of like a wide playmaker, I guess. WAP, wide ass playmaker, you know, you never know. Yeah, you effin' with some wet ass P word. P word is female genitalia. But yes, I'm buzzing about that. We've gone up a level. Welcome, Bardi Key. And the most expensive of the transfers. Ryan Fraser is finally back at Pataudry after all this time. We got rid of Pirini, we brought him in. What a man, that is an upgrade and a half. Crossing is 16. He's electric pace, only 5 foot 4, but who cares? 30 years old, it was 18 million. We actually paid that up front. That was not a lie. That was bought with the EVN money. And he's on a 22 grand a week contract, despite being on 65 grand a week at Bournemouth before. Welcome, Ryan. Unreal stuff. That concludes our business, and I am very happy. I'll quickly update you with the results. Before the winter break and the transfer window started, we beat Hamilton 3-0. It was convincing. Then, couple good friendly results. 
a draw with Falkirk in the Scottish Cup, just what you want. Um, yep, that had to go to a replay. We then beat them in the league 2-1, so that was exciting. Armando scored and Jonathan beat St. Johnston 4-0. A Hickey double on a Ryan Fraser double. That was very, very exciting. And Hickey was playing at right back that game too. And then it was 4-0 against Falkirk in the replay. Uh, Fraser scored again. Matt Miazga double and Dean Campbell as well, which then means we play Celtic in the Scottish Cup fifth round. So there's been a change of plan for today's games. It will be Celtic, I'll play the Dundee game off camera, and then Celtic again in the Scottish Cup. Let's see how it goes. Celtic in the league up first. And this is the team that we're going with. Montipo, Cruz, Miazga, Cruz, what? And this is the team that we're going with. Montipo, Cruz, Miazga, McKenna, Hickey, McCrory and Ferguson. It's a great partnership in real life. It's great in Football Manager, let me tell you. Especially this far down the line when they're even better. Proper ahead of them, the little playmaker. He's worked wonders in there. Absolutely brilliant. Conte, Sao and Fraser. They're on inverted wingers uh, roles instead of inside forward. And it seems to be going well for the lads. And Armando. I'm trusting him. I'm keeping faith in him. I did think about getting Kavanagh, but so much money. My Shido... Emmanuel, D uh, Dean Campbell, is what you call him, Dirk Campbell. If you can channel his inner Dirk, that would be amazing. The Basque General, Kuvia, Udo and Edmondson on the bench. We've not even got, like, Bardi Key on the bench and involved yet because he's so unfit. But we'll get him up to speed, hopefully, for the second Celtic game. He'll be involved. Let's do it. I'm very, very nervous. Oh, actually, before we go into it, I'll tell you something else. Celtic have been dropping points all over the shop. They lost to St. Johnston. I think they drew another game as well. So if we win today, we go one point behind them with two games in hand. It's not over yet, boys. It's not over yet. Again, and girls, but the dummy graphic really says otherwise. The Celtic side we face today is Von Balmus, Calabria, Tanganga, Mavrapanos, Sessignon, Muranes, Suchek, Busio, Altamari, Ejuke, and Huang Hee Chan. I actually said all those names without messing up. I'm really proud of myself. Jeff the Car, Annalade is on the bench, though. I actually said all those names without messing up. I'm really proud of myself. Annalade. 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 <laughs> And after what feels like a lot of admin work, we are finally underway at Kingsford. We've got a huge chance here, boys. We can do it. We've improved in January. We've been playing better football. Let's hope we can get a result. First highlight, Lucas goes Celtic's way, though, after 15 minutes. It's Ryan Sessegnon. So we call him Stefan Sessegnon. Not a chance. Buzio out to Ryan Sessegnon again. No. Wang Hee Chan. Altamari. Okay. Okay, forget I said anything. Montipo's let it in. Um. What is going on? I thought we'd have done so well recruitment-wise, and that's just happened. Um, jinxed it completely. That's the first chance of the game. Oh, Montipo, you've got to do better than that. That is appalling. Oh, dear Lord. And I am sick to death of this goalkeeper. No Aberdeen highlights so far. We're absolutely all over them. What is going on? Demand more. Five minutes before half time. Is it, are we seeing anything then? No. Right, brilliant. Absolutely all over them. There's been one highlight. It's been their goal. This is not good enough. Right, aggressive, into them. I expect to see a much better second half. They're up for it. Show me the second half then. Show me a second half. What am I saying? Consasau in. I can't hit the post. Oh, how have we not put that in? We really should have got another corner though. Consasau puts it in. It's headed clear and hoofed clear. What a chance. And they've got a corner now. Buzio in. We have headed clear. Tanganga on the edge area. Ross McCrory wins it. He's got to be up for this game, surely. Go on, Ross, mate. Find Marmando in the middle. No, Fraser. That was ambitious at the back post. Five foot four of him. Come on, Ryan Fraser. Beat your man. Hickey. Take him on. Fight it across. Penalty. Penalty. Consasau is going to take it. Is he the best option we've got? Yes, we do, because Bardi Key's not there yet. Oh, dear Lord. Come on, please, Consasau. This would be big. This would be absolutely huge. Yes! Berries it. 1-1. One, one. Let's go and win it now, Dons. Come on. They left the keeper with absolutely no chance with that one. Didn't even move. Absolutely stood to the spot and Contessau powers at home. Ninth goal of the season. Most of them penalties, to be fair. Come on, let's go and get more now. Let's win the game. A set piece. Contessau in. Scott McKenna. Big Ted. D-Rod. Nuts at home. Have that. Contessau assist as well. Beautiful stuff. Scott McKenna's third goal of the season. We lead before the hour mark. Well done, Ted. Well done, D-Rod. Well done, Super Scott. Have that. Yes, Dons. We're up for it. Let's do it. Sue checks in the book as well. Three of them in the book and none of ours for once. Wow, that is a turn up for the books. Four of them. Another one. Chaos. Okay, we've got a throw in. Felipe Cruz into Dirk proper now. Come on, Dirk. 
Let's get another goal, finish the game, then we'll make some changes. Ferguson into Armando. Ryan Fraser on the edge of the area. Hickey in support. Come on, Aaron, fire it across. Yes, got it out! 3 1. Boom. Boom. That is beautiful stuff. An assist for Aaron Hickey. He's been amazing as well since the break. We're up for it, boys. It's happening. It's happening. Shame we didn't win the Betfred Cup, but we're going to win the Euro Cup, the League, and the Scottish Cup. Have that. Oh, beautiful stuff. Aaron Hickey, he's been a revelation. Yes, Conscious out. We're up for it, boys. Let's make some changes now. Keep it safe. Nothing stupid. Okay, Dirk Proper's coming off. Dean Campbell, deep line play playmaker, just in front of the back four. Beautiful stuff. We're trying to keep the ball a bit shorter. Waste time. We'll make some changes so we can waste even more time. Beautiful stuff. 15 minutes to go. Less than that now. See it out, Don. See it out. McCrory's in the book. McCrory and Ferguson in the book. That is top shit house Ray. Let's be honest. Oh, I don't have a sentiment to take on. Oh, dear. Right, okay. Ryan Fraser comes off. Save his legs for the next game. Guvia on. Let's do it, Dons. Come on. Hold on now. Oh, let's get another goal. Why not? Felipe Cruz. Armando. Felipe Cruz. I'm behind. McCrory. Fire it in, please, Dons. Hickey in acres of space on the left-hand side. In. Armando. Boom. Boom. That's why we trust him. Hickey's been absolutely on fire. A great finish from the big Brazilian. He's actually doing better. I'm confident in him now. He scored a couple offside goals in the games off camera. Hit the bar a few times, but he did bag one. Absolutely sensational. He also missed a penalty, actually, in uh, one of the 4-0 games. But who cares? He's scored now. 4-1. Well done, Armando, son. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, mate. Oh, another corner. Conscious out. In. They've headed clear, but Miazga collects. He's been really good since coming in. I've impressed him. McKenna on the turn. Kavia save. Double save. Offside. Time for a last change. One last change. What will we do? Um, the Basque General is going to come on for Conscious out. Save his legs for a little bit more for action in the next game. Von Balmus's goal kick. He was looking for the Basque General. <laughs> Yeah, obviously he's great. Um, Montipo now. Just a shame he plays for us and not them. Uh, Thiago Gavia. He's got man outside. Hickey is there. Fire it out. He does. He's in so much space every single time down that left-hand side. Excellent ball in. The Basque General. 5-1. This is what I call a romp. Absolutely beautiful, Dons. 1-0 down. We didn't panic. We didn't change too much. Got into them at half-time. And boom. Stop it. Get some help. Smashed it out of the park. Aaron Hickey again. Is that his third assist? It could well be. The Basque General coming on, getting involved. That is just what you love to see. Well done, Dons. I'm proud. If you get knocked out of the Scottish Cup, I will cry though. And there we have it. Full time. Dean Campbell getting in the Yellow Cards Act. Who cares? We're buzzing. Absolutely all over them. That was astonishing, is what I was going to say. I'll jump straight in. I'll play the Dundee game off camera. I'll let you know how it goes. And then we'll play the second game against Celtic. More like Smeltic, the bunch of losers. Okay, so just finished playing Dundee. We won 1-0. Unfortunately, Celtic won 2 but even worse than that, Ennis Bardi started and had to come off after 25 minutes because he got a bruised shin. But we are one point behind Celtic with two games in hand, so that is pleasing. Okay, so the team for the second game against Celtic is the exact same as the first, and the bench is the exact same as well. How exciting, eh? Such a good rotation on my behalf, considering they played a game in between, so props to me. You're a donut! And the Celtic side is the exact same, apart from Calabria's dropped out for Regeer, because I think Calabria played an awful game, and they asked me about him in the press conference, so... You know, exciting stuff. Now, we've kicked off in the second game of the episode against Celtic, this time in the Scottish Cup. Obviously, in real life, tomorrow, but to yesterday when you see it, Aberdeen will have played Celtic in the league and then their weight play Celtic in the Scottish Cup. So hopefully it's 5-1 in that as well. Um, but who knows? I'm, I'm not very confident about that. Uh, Von Balmus. No, I'm, I'm confident. I think we've got a chance. I might look really stupid depending on what the result was. Lol. But I think we've got a chance. Um, not 5-1 though. Uh, Hickey now into Armando. He's headed over. He Did he score against in the last game? And I forgot to say. He did. He scored the winner. What a boy. Uh, 15 minutes played. Still 0-0. We're all over them. Let's get another goal, please. Probably should have saved a couple from the previous game for this one that would have been good but that's not how football works uh, Ross McCrory's in the book though that's exciting Hickey has got a throw in now it's into Dirk Proper come on we're all over them we need to capitalise on this Hickey in Armando no Concesau he gets there first McCrory all the way out to Felipe Cruz he's in acres of space this time his cross is blocked though Ross McCrory's dilly dallying he's going very slow he's in no rush whatsoever back to Miazga who had to leave out of the uh, Euro Cup registration he's not that happy about it she can only make three changes and obviously I'm going to include Ross McCrory uh, Ryan Fraser and Ennis Bardi sorry Bardi Key Contessao heads wide half an hour played still nil nil come on Dons get up for it come on Dons get up for it what the fuck 
are you doing? We're all over them. Look at that. One shot of theirs. That doesn't make sense. One shot of theirs. Nine of ours. We're all of them possession-wise. We need to make it count. Let's get a goal before half-time. Ryan Fraser. He... Stunning ball out to Francisco Conceição. He fires it in. Turk proper with a header. Oh, the beautiful. My two... Oh, the, the best young players that we've had this whole time, essentially. Not this whole time at all. Uh, we've had Dark proper from a very long time, though. This None of what I'm saying makes sense. We've had them for a long time. They're amazing. And they were like the players I pinned my hope on, hope this, hopes for the season on before I signed anyone else. Jesus, that was really, really difficult. 1-0, though. Brilliant stuff. Another highlight before half-time. I was hoping just get to half-time and relax for a second, but Felipe Cruz has got a free kick. Um, Von Balmus has made an awkward save, to say the least. We've got a corner, though. Come on, Dons. Let's get another one. McKenna was closest to it, but no. Ferguson, Conta Sao. Fire, uh, another corner. Okay, brilliant. Come on, let's get a go. Unless, because if we're seeing this for no reason, I'm just wasting my breath. And um, the words, I'm not good with them anyway, so I'm wasting good content on this. Good content, good sentences is what I was trying to say. I'm not in focus, it's half time. <sighs> Mayhem, we're winning though. You fucking donkey! I don't know what the problem has been with being in focus lately, but it's just been an absolute nightmare. Second half underway, let's punish them. Another goal, please, quickly. Dons, that would be ideal. A corner from Contessao goes in. It's headed clear by Regeer. That rhymes. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. Morianes, he's tackled by McKenna. Kind of. No, he's not. They've still got the ball. That's annoying. Uh, Mavropinos, almost good pressing from Armando. Tanganga, all the way back to Von Balmus. It is actually good pressure if we could win it, but we don't. Altamari, obviously scored in the last game against us. Busio, uh, we're near, so nearly cutting it out so many times. If they score here, I'm going to be so frustrated because they've not had anything all game. McKenna headed clear to Ryan Fraser. Good touch. He's from now 30-year-old Ryan Fraser. Out to Aaron Hickey. He's bombing down the left-hand side as he did all in the last game against Celtic. Proper from long range. Two goals for Dirk Proper. He's been brilliant uh, since moving him into the advanced playmaker role behind the striker. An assist for Lewis Ferguson. 2-0 up on the hour mark. That is ideal. I don't know why I said ire like that. Um, Northern Irish woman says flyer. Insert clip now, Callum. Insert clip after we see the goal. Don't be stupid. Perfect. What a goal. Insert clip now. Flyer. Nadine Coyle. Is that her name? I think it is. Yeah, anyway, 2-0. Who cares what Nadine Coyle's name is? Flyer. Flyer. We're going to make some changes. Conscious is going to come off. He is knackered. Basque General's going to come on. That's all we'll do for now. Uh, yeah, that's all we'll do for now. Oh, what's happening here? Something's popped up. Jeff Rennie Annalade. No, that's not what I did. What did I do? Something that sounded more like a feet 500 than that. Um, more changes. Let's do that. Uh, Dirt Proper, off you come. And Dean Campbell on you come. Protect the lead. Mr. Safe. Save Dirk's legs. Deny him of a hat trick. He's probably not going to be happy about that. But you know, he's done his part. Felipe Cruz on the right hand side. Is he going to chip in now? Aaron Hickey. Fraser. Ferguson. Shot blocked. This is chaos. Is this just a highlight because we were making changes or what? Lewis Ferguson. Combining with the also booked Ross McCrory and Felipe Cruz. This is more like it on. I wasn't liking it last time when they were all booked and we weren't. It just didn't feel right. But, you know, it's back to normal now. So, you what, Armando's going to come off for Ryan Edmondson as well. Late on, why not? Let's get him involved. Hopefully he scores against Celtic in real life in these two games. Uh, that'd be ideal, wouldn't it, Ryan? He did well scoring his uh, first two senior goals in his first senior start. But, um, you know, hopefully carry that on. Can't imagine he's watching this, especially... Oh, no, off... Ollie Burke, <laughs> he plays for Celtic. What losers. He's offside. 2-0. We've won the game. It's done. It's done. We're now um, one point behind them in the league, and we're in the next round of the Scottish Cup. I think it's the quarter-final next. I'll show you the draw quickly before we go. It's been a very long episode. A lot of admin, I feel like. Um... I mean, it feels longer to me because I'll have played the Dundee game, but I'll be cut out. You won't be any the wiser. So, you know, well done, Callum. We're well over the allotted time now. Can we just finish it, please, referee? I've not even put on to waste time, so you can't blame me. Um, I did make a sub, though, so that probably is my fault. We've won. Smashed them out of the cup. Dirk Proper is my hero. Oh, dear. Uh, so we've got Rangers or Motherwell in the next round. Um, we're just going to have to knock them both out on the way to winning it, then, I guess. Unless Motherwell do us a favour. That would be big. Knowing my luck, they'll beat them and then we'll get knocked out by them. So, can't wait for that. Brilliant stuff. Oh, I've just seen they equalise in the 98th minute as well to take it to that replay. Just star luck, innit? In it? Who do I think I am? But that is where we will leave it for today, folks. We will be back next with the FC Köln games. And I think we might throw in the quarterfinal as well. 
just so it's a jam-packed episode because there's no point playing those two then bringing back a couple of days later just the next game. So that's what we'll do. But if you've enjoyed this episode where we've asserted our dominance domestically, please do smash that like button, hit subscribe to stick around. Thank you all very much for uh, helping me hit 300 subscribers, by the way. My goal is to hit it before the end of the month and we've smashed it out of the park. So thank you all. If you didn't enjoy the video, hit dislike and comment down below. Let me know how I can improve my videos. But also comment down below. Let me know how can we do in Europe. Do you think we can go all the way? I think we possibly can. Who knows? But thank you very much for watching. Take care. And also check out the Red Tinted Glasses podcast. We've got a separate channel for that now. I'll leave the link in the description. I'd be greatly appreciative if you would head over there and show that some love too. I almost stumbled over my words. I did stumble over my words. But... I'm just going to go with it. Thank you. Take care. Love you all. That was very affectionate.